The reason that I joined SBI was because I was looking for something different than kind of your traditional consulting path. What really drew me to SBI was the, um, it, it was the entrepreneurial nature of our culture coupled with that foundational consulting experience, um, which, is, which is really the reason I joined and why I've liked it so much. The lifestyle and working for a company like SBI is, is something that I never thought I would actually do because I never knew. Um, having worked with companies with the likes of IBM, HP, or Accenture, in my first 20 years of my career, I'd never worked with a company with less than a quarter million people. So to come to a company with less than 100 was a bit of a shock, but more than anything, it was actually liberating. And it, it allowed me to get away from corporate structure and just work with a group of people that I enjoy being with and working with clients that are trying to solve the problems that when you work in large corporate America, you always wonder why those problems exist. The ability to chart your own path and have autonomy over your career trajectory. Uh, since joining the firm, I was forced to learn all these new capabilities and skill sets that I don't believe I would have had the, uh, the access to in more traditional roles. And with that, um, it's really uh, a matter of uh, your, your will and your desire to learn and grow. And that's going to inform your career trajectory here. So if you're really a, a self-starter and are interested and really are adamant about developing yourself, then you know, this is the, the place to thrive. Over my eight years at SBI, I've had the opportunity to do some very meaningful work to be able to progress in my career. Coming in as an associate consultant, moving up the ranks for, to consultant, to senior consultant, ultimately to an engagement manager and now a director. This progression has really been a testament to SBI's faith and trust that they put in their employees and also the opportunities that they present themselves. And along the way, I've been able to grow tremendously. As part of the recruiting process, I remember the first step that you go through is a career evaluation matrix. So it isn't about you trying to sell yourself to the company and, you know, essentially, you know, coming up with all of the reasons why you're the best fit. Um, at SBI, you actually sit down with your uh, recruiting counterpart and have a very honest conversation about your goals and what it is you're trying to accomplish in your career. So I thought that was really amazing is it's a it's an honest conversation between two parties. It's not uh, a single direction. So I so I love that aspect. So this concept of, hey, you're, you're going to come to SVI and you're going to sign up for a tour of duty, which isn't your whole career. It could be two years. It could be three years. It could be 10 years. But either way, they're going to evolve you and you're going to help grow and evolve the firm. And so really, it's all in the pursuit of your full potential, which is achieving you know, your end state, what you want out of your career. And you enter into this sort of alliance type situation and that really appealed to me. If I think about my personal journey from a practitioner to a strategy consultant and now to leading our business services practice, and that journey has yet to be completed, they've provided me the capabilities, they've provided me and positioned me for the best opportunities. And more importantly, it's the discussions along the way to support and help the employee achieve that. It's not an event, it's a reoccurring conversation and discussion that is constantly evolving. One of the bigger challenges that I've made at SBI is that I got to build a DEI strategy and committee from scratch. I'm incredibly grateful that I had peers that jumped in with me to build it and a very receptive leadership team that allowed us to embed DEI into our culture. And that's why I truly believe in SBI's mission, to drive people to their full potential. With the partners at SBI and with the leaders at our firm, they want to have that conversation. They want what's best for you. They want to understand how you um, view reaching your full potential and how they can help you get there. SBI's culture is purpose-driven, values-based, and vision-focused. But you know what that really means is that we live our values every single day and that we drive our clients and our employees to reach their full potential. The people you work with at SBI are some of the most creative, intelligent, and tenacious people I know. But they're also dependable, inspiring, supportive, and fun. When you come to work at SBI, you can expect 
to work really hard solving complex problems with a team who will support you, make you laugh, and go out of their way to help you. SBI is a really special firm, and it's a place where you have endless opportunity for growth and development. It's what drives me every day to wake up passionate about the work that I do and be proud to work for this firm. We're always connected with one another and consistently leverage each other whenever we're stuck or sometimes when we just need someone to talk to. Our virtual events like our full potential summit or even the occasional happy hour is proof that our connection and values are alive and well regardless of where you're located. What I love most about SBI is the work-life balance. A lot of companies preach about work-life balance, but SBI truly lives the values. For me, that means being able to live and work anywhere in the world and collaborate with my team who are also anywhere in the world. It also means being able to take maternity leave and enjoy time with my family and come back to SBI and celebrate my new work-life balance with my SBI family as well. Having impact and where I spend a lot of time is very important for me, uh, but also learning is, is really, really important. Um, you know, I would say apart from the sales and, and you know, marketing strategy, um, content learning that, that I've been able to, you know, pick up here at SBI, it's also been interesting to see how to run a business. So, you know, just watching how uh, the executive leadership team has navigated um, multiple events at the firm has been, um, has been eye-opening for me. The size of the firm just gives everybody would i say the transparency to understand what different um considerations like some of these leaders the leadership team of the comp of, of sbi has in making some of the decisions uh that that help shape the the future of the firm i've learned a ton about how to be um, a better consultant i've learned a lot about how to build relationships from the partners here and the relationships that I've built with CEOs, how to just be a friend um, and how to really lean into a problem and help people, um, not because you're trying to sell them something or trying to win work, just because you're trying to be a good guy, as John Staples would say. So the impact on me is I've learned a ton. My network has grown exponentially and I see tons of opportunities for me to continue to grow. And so that's why I, I feel the, the passion um, uh, for the coming few years at, at SBI. And that's where I uh, leverage my last couple of years of experience. I mean, the work is incredible and the culture is incredible, but just the people are just good people. Um, and I think that's one of the most important things um, that you know, separates SBI from some of the other you know, consulting firms is you know with the bigger consulting firms you lose a little bit of that human touch um and that human touch is well alive at sbi